Good evening. This is Dodd City Marshal Alan Bailey making another video here for you. It's a uh, beautiful evening here, September 10. 10. My director over there, cowgirl Janie. Hello, darling. Hello. <laughs> she keeps me lined up. Not just on the dates, but uh, on things like uh, what color of socks go together. She's kind of, she keeps me going, that's for sure. Hope you all having a, a good day. Uh, today, or this evening, uh, in this video, I am going to smoke a drugstore pipe. That's an old Dr. Graybo Grand Duke. And uh, I got that thing at a junk shop. Jeannie and I went in there and uh, that's a good place to buy pipes. If, you, if you're if you into cheap pipes, I mean, you know, people die and throw them away, whatever, they wind up in the junk shop. Sometimes you can get a whole darn bowl of the things for nothing. But anyway, uh, tonight I am going to smoke some, another blend by uh, Boswell. This is North Woods, and it's uh, unlike most of my smoke. This one here is a Latakia. And it's just pretty good. I, uh, my friend Ben made a video here not too long ago where he smoked uh, a blend called, uh, what was that now? It had mushrooms in it. Shortcut to mushrooms. Now I'm not a, I'm not a, um, a, uh, what was that series, Lord of the Rings? Yeah, that's what that came out of. I'm I'm not a Lord of the Rings guy. As a matter of fact, I seen uh, all three of the videos here. I think it was last year for the first time. Janie had them. She's seen them about a dozen times, and she knows all them plots and twisted things. And me, I try. I watched it all the way through, and and. Uh, I was just sitting there spinning my wheels because I, I didn't know anything. I, did, I didn't keep up with it. So anyway, uh, maybe I'll watch it again and maybe it'll be a little clearer. But um, the, uh, the thing just kind of left me, left me behind. But anyway, that whole shortcut to mushrooms thing came off of that series somehow. Do you remember where the part of the thing that was in? No, she says she don't remember it. They so. were always trying to smoke. <laughs> well, they were always smoking their pipes. Okay, I got uh, this is what I'm using for tamper tonight. Same thing I always use the most. Uh, it's a 30 30 shell. Um. Or I'll use my fingers, or I'll use a nail, or I'll just whatever I can pick up at the time. Sometimes I use those uh, those double A batteries. <laughs> Seem like those things. We got a bunch of these solar lights around the house at nighttime. You ought to see this place. Looks like Christmas. It just all lit up with them things. So we go through a lot of those double A solar batteries. And uh, so uh, they're 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 kind of make a nice uh, nice tamper too. Well, that's pretty good stuff. But like I say, Ben's the one that got me on the the. Uh, the uh, Latakia based pipe tobacco has never did try one before. I 
a lot different. But uh, anyway, um, I'll put a link, a link to to Ben's uh, channel down underneath this thing. Give him a shout out. He uh, he's up in Wisconsin. He does a great job of uh, doing these videos. He's one of the first ones I ever watched. And. Uh, I suppose it doesn't matter what community you're in, whether you're smoking pipes or whether you're messing around with model airplanes or or whatever. There's communities, I guess, probably that um, there it is that um, make these videos up, and they all talk to each other and all that stuff. So, uh, but anyway. Uh, uh, ben was the first one I think I remember watching and uh, really enjoyed uh, what he was doing there. He just made one on velvet pipe tobacco, the history. You ought to go watch that. He did a real good job. Looks like uh, a documentary you'd see on TV. I'm not that talented. I just turn the camera on and talk and hope hope I can uh, think of something to say for a few minutes. Isn't it a lovely evening? Hmm. Beautiful. Compared to what we've had here uh, the other night. Yeah, we got a big rain, filled up the rain barrels. And, uh, Cowgirl Janie and I, I've got one of these art projectors, okay, where, uh, where if I do a sketch, I can project it up on a, on a, uh, canvas and, and paint it. That way I don't have to worry about spending, uh, half of the morning re-sketching it and trying to get it right. I just put it on there and, uh, go with it. But anyway... This projector also hooks up to where you can play movies. We just figured that out. Had a friend that was a school teacher. And he was a kid, and, or he is a kid, and he knows all these electronic stuff. I wasn't even smart enough to figure out how to hook the computer up to this dumb projector because they had two different fittings, and I couldn't get them together. And I even tried duct tape and a hammer, and it didn't work. And uh, she's rolling her eyes, but because uh, she knows it's true. But uh, anyway, uh, this uh, guy come over and looked at him and said, "Oh, what you need is a dongle." And he opened up the internet and he says, "Right there you are." So we ordered the things only ten bucks. And so while it was raining and filling up our rain barrels, we was inside the studio barn watching the little rascals projecting it up on a sheet. And uh, I had to show Janie that uh, one that was a favorite of mine when I was a kid, me and my late brother Gary, we used to watch it. It was the one with Uncle George where he was going, yum yum, eat them up. That's uh, about my favorite. <laughs> and we watched another one. Uh, I started a pork shoulder. We always have a hog butchered, and uh, this was last year's hog, I guess. But anyway, we uh, I put a pork shoulder in a Dutch oven and got it cooking in the pit. I, I had mentioned that uh, that this has been a real wet year, and uh, so the bag of charcoal sat out in the barn, open, you know, and uh, I didn't even think about this, but when I cranked that charcoal up and got it hot and put it on the Dutch oven and all that stuff, it burnt real good for about an hour, and then it went out. It was just too damp, so... Uh, Janie and I 
ran into town from the ranch. There's town where you can get anything. What is it over there, hun? Fifteen miles, and uh, we picked up a bag of dry charcoal and got it started again. So uh, it's out there cooking. Sure do smell good, but I think it'll probably be ten o'clock tonight before we can sit down and eat. So while we was in town, we we stopped at the Dairy Queen and. Uh, I got one of them uh, blizzards. I, I got a uh, uh, one of them pecan turtle. turtle pecan blizzards. I really like them things. And Janie got uh, something new. It was a um, apple apple pie. They got apple pie and pumpkin pie now, and so I'll have to try them out. See what they're like, I guess. Don't want to make too much of a habit of going in there to Dairy Queen because, well, right now my clothes fit pretty good. But uh, this is September the 10th. It's a Saturday. Sun will be going down here pretty quick. I'm not going to talk till it goes down. But uh, sitting out here by our greenery, nice place. Got a great big old shade tree there. Annie's waiting to get fed. She's standing in her feed bunk. She does that when uh, she wants fed. Stands in her feed bunk, looks at you with them big old cow eyes. Once in a while, she'll bell her. So here in a little bit, I'm going to stop and feed Annie. But anyway, that's a, that's a good blend. Like I say, it's Latakia. It's different than what I usually smoke. We're getting ready to go down to... Uh, Winfield uh, here this next week and what Winfield is is the Walnut Valley Festival one of the biggest music festivals there is I guess boy it's big it's a I don't know there's about 20,000 people show up for that thing and uh, it's a mess because they go down there with uh, they have what they call a land rush, and they go down there, and they, this is a month, month ago, and they wait in line, and they, they all want in their old spots, so they wait on this land rush, and they finally get up to the office, and they get their maps and all that junk, you know, stake out their area, park their campers, and go home. And so, uh, anyway, they did that again this year, you know, and it just looks like a city. I mean, there, you just would not believe it. Go to wvfest.com and look at some of them aerial shots. There's a, uh, it's just like, it's a city is what it is. And down south there, you got what's called Pecan Grove where all the Democrat hippies hang out and run around naked and smoke dope and then... Up on this end is the cowboys and stuff, and so I uh, I don't spend too much time in the grove. <laughs> no, it's a good festival. But anyway, you can walk around at night and listen to you can listen to everything there is. Cowboy music, Celtic music, bluegrass, folk music, whatever. Whatever turns your crank. And uh, these musicians will get up on stage, world-class musicians like Mark O'Connor. And then at nighttime, they run around and play with the regular guys at the camps. And it's just, you really have a good time up there. But this year... They got about 10 inches of rain down there just the other night. 
Well, it was when Janie and I was was uh, filling up our rain barrels and watching these little rascals. But anyway, all of these river came up that run down through there and flooded out everything, and all these people having to pull their campers and stuff out of the mud with with tractors. And it's not the first time it's happened. But anyway, so the festival's still on. But everybody's going to be camping around in different places. You know, when that goes on, why, the festival itself actually loses money because uh, even though they got all these acts going on, uh, a lot of people don't even come to town to watch them. They, uh, they camp and play music wherever they're at. Our Camp Fisher is about 30 miles away from the actual festival. We camp with the same bunch we have for years. I know them, love them. But anyway, that's uh, that's about all I want to do. Just stop and say howdy, and uh, show you one of my cheap pipes. And, and uh, oh, the deer! I forgot to. Would you run and get that, honey? I uh, before I close out of here, I plum forgot. Here, uh, get my pipe going again. Here the other day, I ordered a real neat pipe from uh, eBay. Seen it on there. It's a uh, pipe that's made out of deer antlers. And whoever made it, done a real good job. And uh, I don't think I bought it off the artesian. I think it was a jobber. But uh, it's just a beautiful pipe. And I didn't want to load it up and smoke it the first time right here on film because I don't know what I'm in for. I never smoked a deer antler pipe. Darn thing might make me sick. If it does, I don't need myself getting sick on film. That's for sure. That'd be a first. Thank you, Janie. Yeah, she ran in the house and got that for me. You're a sweetheart. There it is. Isn't that nice? That is just a, that is really a beautiful pipe. And get ready to eat your heart out. Got it for twenty dollars. And I mean that that to me that's a that's real good even if I never smoked the darn thing it'll look good on the rack. But uh, I imagine I will be smoking it. Right there she is. Isn't that pretty? Ah, oh, that's a just a that is really a dandy. I really really like it. Well, I'm going to close on out here for another video here, and I do appreciate you stopping by and watching, and I'll catch you on the flip-flop. Bye-bye.